to middle ground media where news is delivered without an agenda. In today's coverage, segment 1, Shohei Ohani's interpreter embroiled in scandal, Ipe Mizahara, the interpreter for MLB superstar Shohei Ohani, was recently terminated amid a shocking scandal involving allegations of illegal gambling debts. This development has rocked the baseball world, as Mizahara had risen to prominence alongside Ohani, forming a close bond that extended beyond professional duties. Their partnership, once celebrated for its impact on Ohani's success, is now under scrutiny as the MLB initiates an investigation into the matter. The situation raises questions about the dynamics within professional sports teams and the intense pressures faced by those in the spotlight. This incident not only affects Mizahara's career but also casts a shadow over Ohani's reputation and challenges the trust and camaraderie that had been pivotal to their collaboration. Segment 2 Putin's reaction to Moscow attack claims attention, the recent ISIS-claimed massacre at Moscow's Crocus City Hall has sparked a complex response from Russian President Vladimir Putin. Rather than addressing the potential intelligence and security lapses that allowed the attack, Putin has attempted to link the tragedy to Ukraine, suggesting without evidence that Kiev had a hand in aiding the attackers. This claim has been met with skepticism by international observers and dismissed outright by Kiev and Washington. The incident not only tests Putin's long-standing narrative of maintaining order but also poses significant questions about Russia's focus on the conflict in Ukraine while facing serious security threats at home. Analysts speculate on whether this tragic event will weaken Putin's grip on power or be manipulated to justify further military actions or domestic crackdowns. Segment 3 Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis prompts reflection, the revelation of Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis and subsequent treatment has led to a wave of remorse and reflection among those who previously engaged in speculative gossip about her health. For weeks, social media was rife with conspiracy theories and unfounded rumors, which have now been met with regret as the seriousness of her condition comes to light. This situation highlights the often toxic nature of online discourse surrounding public figures, underscoring the importance of empathy and the need for privacy. The outpouring of support for Kate also serves as a poignant reminder of the human element often overlooked in the digital age, prompting a collective re-evaluation of how we discuss and perceive the lives of those in the public eye. Segment 4 – Pope Francis's Health Concerns During Holy Week Pope Francis's decision to skip his homily during Palm Sunday Mass has raised concerns about his health as the Vatican enters Holy Week, a pivotal period in the Christian calendar. This move, unusual for the pontiff, underscores the ongoing health challenges he faces, including knee problems and respiratory issues. As the 87-year-old leader of the Catholic Church opts for a less strenuous participation in ceremonies, faithful around the world are reminded of his mortality and the immense demands placed on his role. This Holy Week thus becomes a test not only of Francis's physical endurance but also of the Vatican's capacity to adapt and continue its traditions in the face of the Pope's vulnerabilities. Segment 5, Joy as Kidnapped Nigerian School Children Freed, the release of nearly 300 school children kidnapped in northwest Nigeria has brought relief and joy to a region plagued by violence and abductions. The children's freedom, secured without a ransom, marks a rare victory against the backdrop of a worsening security crisis in the country. This incident sheds light on the dire situation in Nigeria, where kidnappings for ransom have become increasingly common, affecting thousands of students and undermining the safety and stability of educational institutions. The successful rescue operation offers a glimmer of hope and calls for a renewed focus on addressing the root causes of insecurity in the region. Segment 6, Rescue Operation Frees Hostages in Sinaloa, Mexico, in a significant operation, Mexican authorities have rescued 42 hostages, including 18 children, from criminal groups in Sinaloa state. This action comes amid a troubling wave of mass kidnappings attributed to the region's notorious criminal organizations. The deployment of special forces and continued efforts to locate additional hostages highlight the ongoing battle against organized crime in Mexico. This situation underscores the challenges faced by law enforcement in combating kidnapping rings and securing the safety of citizens in areas dominated by cartels. The operation in Sinaloa represents a critical step in addressing the scourge of kidnappings, but also emphasizes the need for comprehensive strategies to dismantle criminal networks. Segment 7, Hong Kong's controversial Article 23 enacted, 
the enactment of Article 23 in Hong Kong has sparked intense debate over the future of civil liberties in the territory. This new law, quickly passed by the city's legislature, is seen by critics as a significant blow to free expression, potentially having a more profound impact than the national security law imposed by Beijing in 2020. As Hong Kong grapples with the implications of this legislation, concerns grow about its role as an international business hub and its commitment to protecting the rights and freedoms once guaranteed under the one country, two systems principle. The global community watches closely as Article 23 threatens to alter the fabric of Hong Kong society, raising alarms about the erosion of democratic principles and autonomy promised during the 1997 handover. Segment 8, McCarthygate's feud continues after Speaker's ouster, the rift between former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Representative Matt Gates intensifies, with new revelations about an alleged offer tied to an Ethics Committee investigation into Gates. This ongoing conflict, which previously led to McCarthy's removal from the Speakership, underscores the deep divisions within the GOP and the personal animosities affecting its leadership dynamics. As both figures trade accusations, the situation sheds light on the internal struggles facing the party and the impact of personal vendettas on political governance. Observers are left to wonder about the future of GOP unity and the potential repercussions for the party's agenda and stability. Segment 9, Drag Queen Story Hour event cancelled due to bomb threat, a planned Drag Queen Story Hour at the Lancaster Public Library in Pennsylvania was abruptly cancelled following a bomb threat, highlighting the increasing politicization and targeting of LGBTQ plus events. The incident, which led to a significant police response and a community in distress, reflects the growing tensions and hostilities faced by LGBTQ plus individuals and their supporters. This act of intimidation not only disrupted a family-friendly event, but also sparked a broader conversation about hate, intolerance, and the challenges of ensuring safety and inclusion for all. The reaction from local officials and the public underscores the need for vigilance and solidarity in the face of attempts to sow fear and division. Thank you for tuning into Middle Ground Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unbiased news. Join us again tomorrow for your daily dose of truth and clarity.